Welcome to VMware NSS tutorial. I am Mohammed Niyas, an IT specialist for software defined data center technologies. This is our first module. I'm going to give you an overview about the course, then evolution of VMware technologies. Then we will talk about software defined data center elements and an introduction to VMware NSS tutorial. This course is prepared in a way to uh, cover the complete course objectives that comes in VMware NSS install, configure and manage official course. So following are the course objectives. We will go through in detail about all the NSS components, its configuration, deployment and demonstration. In addition to that, this course will also guide you to use the VMware free hands-on lab to reinforce the skills and concepts presented in this course. This course is prepared in a very simple way with a lot of detailed explanations on each element comes in VMware NSS. Anyhow, some minimum understanding on enterprises switching and routing, TCP IP services, experience with the firewall, and a fundamental knowledge on VMware virtualization will make your study more easier. In the first part of the video, we're gonna take a look at the evolution of VMware in IT infrastructure, like where VMware has been and what VMware have been up to, and what are the future direction of VMware technology evolution. Think about how organizations were managed their infrastructure or workload before VMware or virtualization technology come into the picture. Organizations were managing IT infrastructure in a one-to-one -one ratio between physical server and OS or application. Later on, the capability of hardware increased and on the other side, organizations were struggling really with the bare metal restore and recovery mechanisms. So all this led to the realization about the inefficiency of this one-to-one -one method. A shift happened uh, from one-to-one -one method to multiple operating system on a single physical hardware by virtualizing the physical server with a hypervisor. And this product is called VMware vSphere EXSI. Then vMotion added the ability to take a running virtual machine workload and move it to another system. No downtime, you can do your maintenance on the host and bring back those virtual machines. Then DRS, Distributed Resource Scheduler. It introduced the intelligence by monitoring the system resources like uh, utilization of memory, hard disk, CPU, and if any particular EXSI host or virtual machine running on it was going to create a contention due to more resource utilization, then the DRS had the intelligence to automatically migrate off that servers in order to elevate the contention. Then VMware HA come into this mix. With HA, if a server fails, then those VMs have the ability to power up on the other existing host. Is there any downtime required? Yes, there is a downtime, but it reduces the downtime because of the automated process. So vMotion, DRS, HA. Really, these are the foundations of what we know today as a software-defined data center technology. What that means? A software-defined data center is really about leveraging the intelligence in software, and that eliminates the need of a person to have to do something. So if my data center is dealing with DRS, I don't have to have a person that sits and monitor the infrastructure and then manually move those workloads. Those are the compute virtualization elements which brought tremendous changes in compute data center environment. And we all have been enjoying these capabilities to manage our compute resources. We started talking about uh, the biggest changes in software defined data centers after the introduction of VMware vSAN. If we go back in time, physical servers would be granted some type of storage from a centralized storage architecture. We didn't really leverage a lot of local disks in enterprises like uh, always having all their data in one place so that it could be managed uh, oftentimes by a dedicated storage team. And that allowed vMotion, DRS and HA for them. So what VMware vSAN does here, it took the local storage devices, aggregate it, pool it and spanning across all the systems, all the EXSI host over the network and that today is what we know as the product called VMware vSAN or Virtual SAN. We can apply all the characteristics of storage in a more flexible way. We can use policies to determine the characteristics on the fly as we need for our system. 
a complete tutorial for VMware vSAN is available. Go and check out here. Finally, our topic VMware NSS in a multi cloud environment. It means you have workloads running on different cloud providers, private cloud. Does it matter what EXSI or what storage is behind it? Is that the real matter that you are concerned? No. The real matter to be in consideration is about network and security. Do you think a hardware dependent network can provide such a consistency between the multi-cloud, private cloud and whatever the cloud you have? No. Only network delivered in software can bring an end-to-end -end consistency from data center to branch to cloud. VMware NSS is the foundation for the virtual cloud network. NSS is a platform that brings solution to network and security. What NSS do, it reproduces the entire network model in software enabling any network topology from simple to complex multi-tier networks and to be created and provisioned in few seconds. It enables a library of logical network elements and services such as logical switches, routers, firewalls, load balancers, VPN and workload security. So by this way users can create isolated virtual network through custom combination of these capabilities. Similar to virtual machines for compute, virtual networks are programmatically provisioned and managed independent of underlying the hardware. So there is no dependency between NSS and the hardware. This is very cost effective because if you want to adapt some changes in your network, think about the cost and effort that you need to spend if it is a physical network. All updates and adaptions can be performed much simpler, much quicker and automated way using VMware NSS. We covered all the topics that mentioned in the agenda. That is all about first module. We're going to continue our journey VMware NSS. Thanks for watching this video.